10.2 fine arc measures we have a number of vocab terms to go over I'm gonna go over a couple of them at a time because a lot of them are related I'm gonna go over these three first and I'll draw a picture over here a central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is on the center of the circle so for example what I've drawn here this angle is a central angle because its vertex is on the center Okay. Now, anytime you have a central angle, angle, you're going to create a minor arc and a major arc. Let me change colors. This, this is a minor arc. Okay. A minor arc is part of a circle that measures less than 180 degrees. Remember, 180 degrees is a straight line, so anything less than 180 is a minor arc. Use green. A major arc. This would be a major arc. A major arc is a part of a circle measuring between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Now, a straight line is 180 degrees. A full circle is 360 degrees. Okay, so for example, let's say, let me switch back to blue. Let's imagine that this was 90 degrees, this arc here. The whole circle is 360 degrees. So this, this major arc would have to be 270 because altogether it needs to add up to 360. This would be your minor arc and this would be your major arc. Now, of course, you don't need to have these two numbers. You could have some other numbers as long as they add up to 360. Okay? All right. A semicircle. A semicircle is an arc with endpoints that are endpoints of a diameter. So, like what I've drawn here, this is a diameter. Okay? This would be a semicircle. Okay? All right, the measures of minor and major arcs. The measure of a major arc, I'm oh, sorry, the measure of a minor arc is the measure of its central angle. So up here, if this angle was 80 degrees, this arc would also be 80 degrees. If this was a right angle, if it was 90 degrees, then this arc would also be 90 degrees. Whatever the central angle is, that's the measure of the minor arc. I guess we'd keep that there for the example. Now, a major arc, the measure of a major arc is the difference between 360 degrees and the measure of the related minor arc. So, if this is 80 degrees, well, 360 minus 80, that'll give us, uh, let me see, 280. So, the major arc would have to be 280 degrees because 360 minus 80 is 280 degrees. So, that's how you find the measures of uh, major and minor arcs. You can leave the numbers there if you want or you could write down your own example or you can leave a blank, that's fine. Alright. Congruent circles and congruent arcs. Alright. Two circles are congruent circles if they have the same radius. So if you have this circle and it has a radius of 4 and then you have this other circle and it also has a radius of 4 then these circles are congruent. Congruent arcs. Two arcs are congruent <coughs> if they have the same measure and they are arcs of the same circle or congruent circles. And there'll be an, an example of that later. Alright, measuring arcs. The measure of a minor arc is the measure of its central angle, as we already discussed. The expression M with AB with an arc over it is read as the measure of arc AB. So kind of like when we have the measure of angle ABC very similar. Okay, This little m means measure. The measure of the entire circle is, as we, as we mentioned before, 360 degrees. The measure of a major arc is the difference between 360 degrees and the measure of the related minor arc. Okay, The measure of a semicircle is always going to be 180 degrees. Alright, page 2.
Yeah, page two. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Example one, find the measure of each arc of circle C where DF is a diameter. All right, so we're given that DF is a diameter. That means this whole thing is a semicircle equaling 180 degrees. So if the whole thing is 180, let's see if I can draw a better arc than that. So if this whole thing is 180 and this is 117, well, let's see here, 180 minus 117, 63. This has to be 63, which means that this has to be 180. All right, so let's go through this. Arc DE. Arc DE is a, I guess they want us to label it as a minor arc, is a minor arc. So the measure of arc DE, it equals the measure of angle DCE, which is 117 degrees. DFE is a major arc. So the measure of arc DFE, notice how the major arcs have three letters. That's how you know it's a major arc versus a minor arc. The minor arcs will only have two letters. The major arcs will have three letters. So the, major, the measure of, of arc DFE is 360 degrees minus 117, which is oop, 243. And I'll write that over here. <coughs> 243 degrees. DF is a diameter, so arc DEF is a semicircle. And the measure of arc DEF is 180 degrees. All right, you guys can do this checkpoint. Postulate 23, arc addition postulate. Okay, so this is kind of like the segment addition postulate when we discuss that if you have a segment like this, then AB plus BC equals AC. You can basically add this plus this and get the whole thing. Or an angle addition postulate, where we said, well, this plus this equals the whole thing. Same thing with arc addition postulates. Arc ABC equals arc AB plus arc BC. Example two, you join a new bank <clears throat> and divide your money several ways, as shown in the circle graph at the right. Find the indicated arc measures. Okay, the measure of arc BD. Now, there's only two letters, so we're looking at the minor arc, the smaller arc. Arc BD, well, if this is 55 degrees and this is 105 degrees, then the whole thing has to be, let's see here, 105 plus 55, I think that's like 160, right? Yeah. 160 degrees. That's this whole thing. Now, BCD, that's the major arc, is going to be 360 minus BD, which was 160. 360 minus 160 is 200. All right, let's go on to page three. Okay. Tell whether the given arcs are congruent. Explain why or why not. Okay, B, C, and D, E. This is 75 degrees, which means that this is 75 degrees. This is 75 degrees, so this one also is. So, arc B, C, and arc D, E are congruent because they are in the same circle and the measures of each of these arcs are equal. Okay, now this one is a little bit different. Arc AB and arc CD have the same measure, but they are not congruent because they are arcs of circles that are not congruent. 
You can tell this because this circle is smaller than the bigger circle. Okay, so the circles are not congruent. So even though they have the same measure, because the circles that they're in are not congruent, the arcs are not congruent. Okay. All right, now, here, I want you guys to notice that this circle has a radius. Eh. This circle has a radius that is congruent to a radius in this circle. Hopefully you guys remember, if you have two circles with the same radius, the circles are congruent. So, these arcs are congruent because they are in congruent circles. And the measures of the arcs equal each other. Alright, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. That's all.